Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Developer Matty. Today, we're continuing our Microsoft Word tutorial series, and we're going to focus on how to insert and customize tables, images, and objects to take your documents to the next level. If you've ever wondered how to create professional-looking reports, resumes, or presentations in Word, this video is for you. Let's dive right in. Let's start with one of the most useful tools in Word tables. Tables are great for organizing data, like schedules, comparisons, or anything that needs structure. Here's how you can insert and customize a table. Go to the ribbon at the top of Word and click on the Insert tab. Under the Insert tab, find and click the Table button. A grid will appear. Hover over the grid to choose the number of rows and columns for your table. As you move your mouse, Word will show a preview of what the table will look like. Once you're happy with the size, for example, three rows by four columns, click, and the table will be inserted into your document. Once the table is inserted, you can start entering your data into the cells. Tables in Word are very customizable. To resize the table, hover over the bottom right corner of the table until the resize handle, a small square, appears, then click and drag. You can adjust the column widths and row heights by dragging the lines between cells. To add more rows or columns, right-click inside the table, hover over Insert, and choose to add a row above, below, or a column to the left or right. To format the table, click anywhere inside the table, and Word will display two new tabs at the top of the screen, Table Design and Layout. In the Table Design tab, you can choose a style from the gallery of predefined designs to quickly change the table's appearance. You can also add borders, shading, and customize the colors. In the Layout tab, you'll find options to merge cells, split cells, adjust the alignment of text, and more. Next, let's move on to adding images to your document, which is a fantastic way to make your content more engaging.
Again, go to the Insert tab on the ribbon. And this time, click on Pictures. You'll have two options. This device, select this to insert a picture from your computer. Online Pictures, this allows you to search for images online directly from Word using Bing. For now, let's choose this device and insert an image from your computer. Once you select an image, it will be inserted into your document. Now that the image is inserted, you can customize it. To resize the image, click on it and drag the corners. Make sure to hold the shift key if you want to keep the aspect ratio, so the image doesn't get distorted. To move the image, right-click on it, select Wrap Text, and then choose how the text interacts with the image. Common options are In line with text, this keeps the image aligned with the text. Square, the text will wrap around the image in a square shape. Tight, this makes the text wrap closely around the edges of the image. Behind text, this places the image behind the text. In front of text, this places the image on top of the text. Additionally, you can apply styles to your image. With the image selected, click on the Picture Format tab that appears on the ribbon. From here, you can add borders, apply shadow effects, and even crop the image. To crop, click the crop button, then drag the edges of the image to adjust what's visible. Now, let's talk about adding shapes, icons, and smart art. These elements are useful for creating visual representations, like diagrams, arrows, and charts. Go to the Insert tab again and click on Shapes. You'll see a drop-down menu with a variety of shapes like rectangles, circles, arrows, lines, and more. Choose a shape, for example, a circle. Click and drag on the document to draw the shape. You can customize the shape using the Shape Format tab that appears when you click the shape. Change the fill color by clicking Shape Fill. Change the outline by clicking Shape Outline. Apply 3D effects and shadows using the Shape Effects menu. To insert icons, go back to the Insert tab and click on Icons. A library of icons will open. You can search for a specific icon or browse by categories like business, people, or technology.
After inserting the icon, you can resize and recolor it using the same tools in the Graphics Format tab. For SmartArt, go to the Insert tab and select SmartArt. SmartArt lets you create diagrams and flowcharts easily. Choose a diagram type, like Process, Hierarchy, or Cycle, and insert it into the document. You can enter your own text into the SmartArt placeholders and customize its look using the SmartArt design and format tabs. You can also quickly insert screenshots and online pictures into your Word document. To insert a screenshot, click on the Insert tab, then select Screenshot. You'll see all your currently open windows, click on one to insert a full screenshot into your document. If you just want to capture part of your screen, choose Screen Clipping, and drag your mouse to select the portion of the screen you want to capture. You can format these images the same way you format any other pictures. Once you have multiple elements, like images, shapes, and text, you might want to adjust how they are positioned on the page. Select an object, like an image or shape, and then click on the Picture Format or Shape Format tab. Here, you'll find the Align options. This allows you to align objects to the left, right, center, or middle of the page. You can also change the order of overlapping objects by using the Bring Forward and Send Backward options. These help you layer objects on top of each other. To group multiple objects together. Hold down shift and click on each object you want to group. In the Shape Format or Picture Format tab, click Group, then select Group again. Now, you can move or resize the grouped objects as one. And that's it for today's tutorial. Now you know how to insert tables, images, shapes, icons, and more into your Word documents, and how to arrange them to create professional, polished documents. In the next video, we'll dive even deeper into more advanced features of Microsoft Word. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Developer Matty for more Word tutorials. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a new upload. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.